Welcome back to Winter Quartering, I'm James and we are going to take our fifth turn on our campaign of Caesar, Rome vs Gaul. Without further ado, let's jump into the actions. First thing first, draw Galdink reinforcements. Cadurci, Harmonici, Biturices, Cadurci. We can place it there. Take our city. We have Biturices, 16. Subdued because it's Roman territory. The Cadurci. We can place them maybe here. Menacing Roman lines here. Then we have Vercingetorige. Vercingetorige. Vercingetorix. As you like. Place him with the Cadurci. And then we have two fresh Roman legions. Alongside with the two steps. We could also bring back this one. But I think uh, it's more important to have those two here and we can send uh, our sixth legion then we have the fifth here in provincia yes better these two here okay then we have uh, to draw our legate into sabinus mm, so we put him uh, here then we have caesar we put him here just because quito sabinus uh, is uh, not a very good one and we have uh, our mighty to Labienus put in here. So situation is not looking good for the Romans right now, but we will see. We have the Gallic muster phase, but I think uh, it's okay to stay like this at this moment. D or E. Hmm. So let's play this one. Roll a die. We roll the a two. So randomly take this one and uh, we can play this one for the ops point uh, and uh, what do we want to do mm. one two three and then we will see if it's a good move just try maybe Tito Labienus will go to sit here and then we can go back and fight him here with uh, our local support bonus or if it comes here we are a big stack, so let's go for the Romans event or the last we do We don't have events, so it's a first choice. And with that one, I think we want to activate Caesar. One, two, three. That's okay. So we have our supply line. Okay, let's go for the goals. C, D, or E. So I think the goals. <coughs> should call a revolt maybe yes and let's call the roman nightmare <laughs> so we have the sequani fortified town minus one on, on the siege table lingones allergy the romans cd or e very vici we want to use that right now I don't think so. No, no, no. Let's use that one for the ops. Activate Caesar for the siege. We have a nine on the one one. A nine is two six points and one hit. So what we can do with the second one? One, two, three. With the goals, Let's see. Unuseful. Just use the one. Oops, so we could one, two, three for the Romans, A or B. Let's use this one to activate Caesar. A ten, a ten uh, to see this point. We eliminated the Armorici. So uh, one, two, three, four, and uh, five here. Let's go with the goals. D and E. Try to do this one. Yes, why not? The Carnutes right in front of Caesar. 
and scissor only six points of strength mm. i think he has to run away so c d or e a very nice card we need to reach Tito Labienus. one they don't want to intercept for sure two three four and five sorry i must declare the card first this one i think and with the other one we place our control marker here playing the waiting game with titus just work for the goals a b or c it's a war yes i like it let's use it we could one two three one two one two three and then one two let's see if <laughs> The final seeds will be in uh, Caranto Magus instead of uh, <laughs> Alesia. <laughs> see the Romans, see the E, two, three, four, and nine. So if you want to use this one for now, activate Caesar and go one, two, one intercept. I don't think so. Three, this one trying to intercept there. Six plus two. No, doesn't succeed. We have seven against three, and there's a bottle. I like this aggressive tactic by Caesar, running through the enemies. Eight, just reroll this, uh, reroll again. Ten, seven column, a ten, three losses, a five, on a three, zero. Okay, the Sequani. Say goodbye. So we have more than twice the their strength at the end and the, the beginning of the battle. So we have another move here to say hi at the Lingones. Obviously they obviously they try to avoid, but they had a minus two. So nothing. We have seven. They are submitted automatically. Seven against two. Mm, and the other activation point we could use the two labienos one. Two, three, four. Try to score a point for Aquitania again. Let's see the goals. See, let's play this one to place a marker just to have uh, one spot for Lingones. Let's see the Romans event or less. Uh, let's play Veni Vidi Vici. We can activate Caesar, a qualsiasi legato, and then use three action, three action points. Super strong, amazing card. Start with Caesar. One, two, three, four, five. With Titus, we could go one, two, three, four. Okay, then we have three remaining points. We can convert here, we can convert here. And with the last one, place it here, see what we do, A, B or C, one point activation, local rates, uh, remove this one, two, three, we activation point, we place ourselves here, in Zergovia, ready to, <coughs> to free the place for the Verne, we have a Roman card, C, why not, we use it, for the ops so we could uh, one two three we submit the aquitani and four four here and with scissor one two three four and then five and i think they want to remain inside seven against seven they don't have superiority no more local support sorry and then we have our last uh, ops point and we want to place it <laughs> just to fill the gap card for the goals a or b maybe just use this one just go south with the, the germans one two three then we have one activation point just place a marker the last roman card let's see super strong activate scissor then use the Three activation points. Is it worth to siege? So the siege isn't as an option with the last card, I think. So with the Caesar, one, two, three, four, then five, and see if they could avoid with the minus two. No. So we have a battle 
we have seven strength but we control the province so we have nine strength against their seven we can do it Ooh, we roll this one okay and the go we roll their one Caesar said uh, reload your five. Just check six with a seven is only one and uh, nine uh, three, which is perfect. I think uh, we don't want to risk. I, we accept uh, one step loss, but the total annihilation of those two tribes. And then, uh, of course, we play this one. We have three operation point. We need to think very well where to put them. One here, just to have the region. One here, same purpose. And the last one here was the end of the fifth turn. Let's go to the process. So, Caesar turn back to Rome. Our legions are here in Zergovia. We want to keep our good, trusty Tito Labienus. Quintus Sabinus, <laughs> not the best. Hello, bye bye. March Legion to winter camps. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. No, let's leave one here because two, 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 because the metro space is three there. Isolation. This one is isolated. There's a fortress there. Room is okay. The goes. Okay, let's go with three points. So one, five here, six, seven, eight. Eight points with one victory point. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine victory points out of 12. We need three victory points on the last turn. Just place the influence markers and see you for the final turn of the Gallic Wars this campaign in Caesar Rome versus Gold. Thanks for watching. See you soon.